There we are. And with that, let's begin. Okay, sound sounds good from here, so I'm going to mute my stream, turn the desktop audio on so you can hear the game this time, unlike that one time during 999. And, ladies and gentlemen, the IQ bar is back. I decided to reset it. I believe we finished the last game at 105. But out of fairness, since we've kind of erased that from the records, we're going to just start from a fresh slate. Well, clean slate, you know, words. They mean things. Isn't that obvious? Isn't that isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that isn't that obvious? How's the sound balance? Everything good? Anything should go up, down, let me know now. Last call. Tell me what's going on. And if everything is good as it is, and if I don't need to adjust anything else, then we will get started pretty much right away. I'm going to just type in chat and go, eh, 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 how is things? And yes, the sound, whenever I tab out of the, whenever I tab out, the sound cuts off. And also whenever the cat steps on the cord attaching my controller. That will also make noises. Sound balance, good. Also talk in Twitch because I can see that easily now with OBS. Well, actually, I can see both pretty well. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. I can, I can keep my eye on both. So as long as everything looks good, then we can pretty much just get going. Get that there. Get that there. Get that there. Isn't 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 that obvious? All right, I see no comments, so let's get started. I just want to make sure that I'm recording one last time. I should be. I am fantastic. I can edit all the other stuff out for the archives and stuff, so it doesn't trip anything and get pulled or whatever. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> No, really. Menu. I don't like that sound. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay, good. Yes. Yes, good. Sigma. And it's pretty much all the same. Ag. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, oh, yeah. Isn't that obvious? Oh. So that is the first line. Hello. But isn't that obvious? We're in an elevator. I'm plenty friendly. Is she like living in lag or something? I said I'm plenty friendly. In an elevator. Don't know. It looks like an elevator. Sigma. Sigma. 
No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! I'm old? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. What do you think this thing is? This bracelet? Uh-oh, there's more information on them now. See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. So together we're three. It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. No, it's just got a three and the word pair. What are you doing? Well, maybe not everybody's a pair. <laughs> Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. I pressed him, but nothing happened. Maybe you didn't press him in the right order. Ooh. <laughs> not even a beep. Hey, look! There's something on that screen over there. Whoa. How are you feeling? Bet I've been better. I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! The third? A rat? I'm sure you've got lots of questions! You bet. It just seems silly to have a big old chit-chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play! Yay! Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! Epidex Edition! Oh. There's more to it! Lots more! And trick, huh? I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. Probably later. Is 
that her catchphrase? This is about a riddle. Then... Okay, so it's just changing them. I thought it was going to be the Sphinx riddle or something. Hello? <laughs> Babies and old people. File. I bet that's going to tell us things about the numbers we're supposed to press. Uh, colored screws. So, baby, old person, Rabbit. I bet that unscrews the blue one. Item screen. Red, the red one. Aha! Yeehaw. 
Yoink. Eh. Controls and rules will be given. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Green block from the top left to the blue in the bottom right. You can move the green and red up and down as well as sideways in the direction. Oh, so they all move at once. Let's see. Let's think this through. So I have to get rid of most of them, essentially. Keep that one here. Him down, that there. Just like that. Try counting the number of babies and old people. Okay. Granny 1, Granny 2, Snoring Guy 3, Cane Guy 4, Map Guy 5, 6, 7. Life would be infinitely happier if you could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. So 7 old people, babies. Naked, 1, crying, 2, and snapping on its face three. Oh, seven three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I got a memory card. No, let's try putting the memory card in. Aha! These caves have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you get a key to allow you to leave. Hidden file password and hard mode you get a gold file. Supplementary fact information, but not necessary for escaping. So the safe is where it is. Alright, well that's useless right now. We'll come back to that. Okay. I, 
guess. I did that, I did that. Maybe I, maybe I managed to miscount the babies. Hmm. Oh, if I'm already miscounting things, that's gonna be a bad omen for how this is gonna start. Yes, babies and old people. There are four babies. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Yay, card. I still haven't used the, the bunny buttons, but obviously my yeah, red card can go in the machine, and the red slot go right in, please. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Counting the bunnies in the room, there are one. Oh! That's strange. I don't know why it's zero. Oh! Because it's the bunny. I'm the worst. So don't pull card. Oh, okay. Well, gee, I wonder what this could be. Sun triangle. Moon. Okay, so that's the escape password. When you open the safe using the escape password, yes. Hidden file password. already managed to forget. I will get the gold files. Oh, it's another one. Okay, well that'll do it. And now there's nothing. Okay. Ah, well, I would imagine. Safe elevator. Okay. Sun, star, moon. Right, thank you. Sun, star, moon. Yes, 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 yes. Sun Star Moon. What? Oh, good grief. Sun Star Moon. Sun. Oh, I didn't see the button. Yay. Yay. Yeah. No. You can't make me. Sun Star Star. So is there a gold and a silver? That I have to get both or just the gold? Okay. 
All right, so the gold is just extra, but also has whatever this what would be in the silver. Also. Got it, got it, got it. Prizes. I love prizes. Yunk. All right, that's it. So every room is A, get out, B, get the gold pile. Can do. Yep. And... Buzz. Yes. Fine. Escapey. Achievement unlocked. Alright. Reading time. Your shoulders? shoulders. I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Look, if you wanted this to be kinky, this could also be kinky. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. Quiet. Here we go. All right, give me your hand. Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. My name is Fi. I guess you could say... I am no man. <sighs> and we're also doing a bunch of Greek letter shit, aren't we? Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. What? What? I know it's way too early to be just saying what constantly, but come on. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. I bet it wasn't really an elevator. Two milkmen go comedy. Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. That's not how you spell that hangar. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. So it would seem. Forget it. Look. More people. Hi, everybody. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. I think I know you. If I had to guess. Because I did get that ending in the other game. If is it her? I'm not sure. But it's probably is. Let's be honest with ourselves here. No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we all shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. That's a cool hat. No, Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Dio. That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Tenmi OG Alice and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Yeah, that's her. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. Yep. Me. Yep. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. So, how did you get here, Alice? And you are? Say that again. Bastard. Um, are you two... You think? What? How dare you? Cat will rub its face on some cords and making things pop up. Uh, hey, uh, see your bracelet there? Hmm. And yours. Fine, right? Now let me have a look. Hmm. I thought so. Mm-hmm. Quark. You and Dio show them your bracelets. They're also a pair. But they're also three? No. A sharp eye there. <laughs> hmm. Show them yours too, ladies. Solo? Green? Right. You figure it out then? Mm-hmm. Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So... So we're missing the green pair. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe we'll get our own numbers later. I got the foggiest idea. Oh, come on. Well, I have extra information here. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Probably. Maybe. Yes, yes, yes! I'm gonna hate that rabbit, aren't I? Yes, in the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. Liar. <laughs> What's well, a red nine? think we'd have done it last if there was? Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Dingus. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Let's find a tank, then. I told you already. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock. And we can't break down the door. Let me look at the lock. Why would I lie? All right, well, right now, oh, okay, so there are nine of us, right? Wait. The two ladies, 
Tim Yuji, those two, and the two of us. That's seven. Yeah, we're missing the green pair still. No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. Mm-hmm. Nobody's come out of one of them yet. Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. He's green. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. That's the one. Okay, so the solos Dio are all and apart. Clark were next. They're the blue. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally... Right, I think Alice is the red solo. So yeah, so green, red, blue. Well, green pair, green solo, red pair, red solo, cup, blue pair, blue solo. The two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Uh-huh. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are That's... you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? Probably. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex room. Is that some kind of card reader? Ambidex edition. Maybe it unlocks it or something. Did the rest of our rooms have a name? There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? What's on top of the rest of them? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Thank you, Alice. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Thank you, Luna. Oh, the Nonori game Ambidex edition? <laughs> <sighs> nah, I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. Well, what were you carrying before this? There's a crane? Maybe there's no one in there. Doubt it. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Hello. What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Jingle. What? Clover! What? Are you okay? What the hell happened to you, girl? Clover! Wake up! What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be alright. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but... I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? I hate Overwatch. No! Not for the win! No! I'm... No. No. I'm... Hmm. if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Is it Santa? Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this 
this robot suit. You can't even see your face. Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? Yeah. I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. And when I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? You know what I meant, you smartass. Uh, oh. She's waking up. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. How is... where are we? It's happening again, Clover. <laughs> what? No. No, that can't. Uh -huh. I don't know why she's so scared. We got the good ending. When did you lose your memory? When? It's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. That's not a good answer. What's the earliest thing you remember? I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. My IQ thing is blocking text on those screens. Uh, hmm. I can change the, uh... I can change the transparency a little bit. Let me see real quick. And the bar image itself. I mean, I made it pretty transparent. But if we really want, we can turn it off. But. Alright, uh, I mean, does it really interfere that badly with the lines of text? Or can I just leave it up? Because I can turn it on and off when I want. And it'll just keep running in the background. See? Bit, 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 bit. I'm just gonna leave it. Seems fine. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Hmm, maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> it sounds like the lead kid. He's got that insouciance. Bullshit. I'm with you. This guy's obviously full of it. Tell me you're actually buying this. Three pair green. Bingo. One line of text. It's not that big a deal. You've both seen this, you've both played this, but fine. I'll turn the IQ bar on only when there's puzzles. It's fine. I mean, it's not like we're gonna really be moving it up and down that much. <laughs> Well, if we're doing color mixing and we're, you have RGB lighting, then this is going to be the door for the red and the blue. Didn't I tell you that? Oh, but if they're all nine, then I guess it would be other... Th so I guess you could either set it up so red pair, blue solo for three... Well, I don't know. I don't know what the There's a box are. here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Hey, what do you think that is? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, 
Yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. The comma at the end, or just you heard me. It's an anagram of. Yeah, they tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously, you've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of um wordplay where uh, you move the letters around to create something else. <sighs> exactly. Is this gonna be a recurring thing? Watch. Oh, okay. What well, stupid you leave four letters the same in a row. <laughs> Hmm, exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Bench. True, but you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. How many times are they going to do that? Well, Zero technically wasn't one of us last time, but I mean, there was, there were extenuating circumstances. Huh? Look, over there. Shame on you, Fido. You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Why not? Although things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes, God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean? That Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? She's got an AI. Blah, blah, AI. Because whatever. it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Grown. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Grown. Zero's the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> Are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? I say? The game, of course! <laughs> Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. Oh, what's the definition of smooth over here? No, it's supposed to be over. I actually smile like. I look like a smile. So, what is the nonary? Nomery refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. It can also be Italian for a grandmother. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is the 
is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with an eye on it, you can escape. What, what do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Please. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? Did they change now? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Huh? Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. Our numbers are going to change. Oh, man. However! So we don't get cool number nicknames this time. Because they have to change every time we change our score. There are three rules you can't forget. I'm sure that was funny in the One, the number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically. So be careful. Two, the number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It will close for good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, An even more annoying pun. If you think you can be sneaky, well. Oh, I. Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> I think I know what that is, though. All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You explode. Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um. Yes? Why did you start making rabbit puns? Uh, well, um, because <laughs> I felt like it. I thought it might make me sound cute. Never gonna happen. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Abidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those... Uh... Elevators? Gold star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> no. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under how do we get in there? We tried the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? And how do we get the cards? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. And where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. If you want to shorten those, I'm sure you could call those CD. Maybe the CD. <laughs> right here! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. They are. Or what? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? <laughs> the 
two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? Guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding 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 ding! Very impressive, Ten Mioli! Nah. <laughs> Alright! Let us review what we learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, mm. just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. Oh. What? Each door in this one has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. So the nine door has a twin also somewhere. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Depends on what color system you're using to mix and combine. Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. Well, I can see why she wouldn't want to talk to you. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. No, go to hell. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Y you mean red, green, and blue? For mixing light, yes. You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? Light. But of course, when we mix paint, it's subtracted based on what's being absorbed. So, which colors would you mix to get magenta? Mm. Red? How about yellow? Red and green. Green and red? What if you wanted cyan? Green and blue. Blue and green? No, green and blue. Yeah, yeah, we get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. There is one other little thing, though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. You can open that with a complement. So, if the red people wanted to go through the cyan door, just the red people, you could do that. There are a lot of different combinations, then, I guess. Hmm, I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. All right. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green, green open magenta. And green and green can open the magenta door. Fantastic. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Ten Mioli. I'm putting my back. I'm putting my IQ bar back. I want it. Just what the hell's that supposed to mean? That you're old. It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well, let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity. Which means they share the same destiny. Mm. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one! Uh, unfortunately, 
Those don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. And that means that they can go wherever they want. Yay! Forever alone, you said. Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. So basically, we could pair with anyone we want, depending on what door we want. We'll start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? Uh, uh, Are you a pair or a silver? Find up is next! Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's, red in a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Mm -hmm. Yo, work? Blue. Pair. Alright, well, Alice and Clover are probably going to go together. So she's the red solo and the green pair, so they would go together with Robot Man. And that would be the yellow door. So that means that the only way for everybody else to be able to go through another door would be to cycle through. Well, no. That's a red and a green. But no, that means that the other red would have to can't pair with anybody. The only purple. I mean, the remaining red would have to pair with the blue. That would be us with the blue solo, so I guess we're probably going to go with Ken Yuji. Do I think it's the blue? Or Luna? I don't know. Yeah, mine's the same. Yeah. Moody, Cleaver, Tendioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. Okay, so if we go with Luna through the magenta door, that should let Alice and Clover stick together, which I'd like to do. I'm a green hair. Green Solo. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm, uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me K. K? I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a, how do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. It'd be really helpful I could remember the character's name. I saw the letter K. So, what does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, K, can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says hair, and the text is green. I would pair up with either the blue pair or the blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Uh-huh. Whoops! So there is a rule about three at a time. Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. Boo. That means you can't have two people, or four people, or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> Pretty much. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, ah, wait for me! When the right people open the door, what if the primary door closes first? Then that's impossible! Why are we here? Get out the door. I'm red and pear. 9 BP. BP are hiding in the point in the rooms. Key cards. Door. Open automatically. So I can pick whichever solo I want to hang out with. Good? Excellent. It looks like none of None of us can. Yeah. Okay. 
Oops. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys. But it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Ooh. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone's left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. Keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? You explode. Whoa. Death. No. Your bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. Oh, so we don't explode. That's nice, at least. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the silver rail, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubocurarine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. Was the original Super Super Beta? Or is that a new one? I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the Super Real is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm. I mean, Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. So, the question remains, do I want to let Alice and Clover go together, or do I want to hang out with Alice and find out what's up? Well, then. Looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! Well, let's think. If me and... If I pick Alice, who's also a red, we go through Cyan. So that means that I would have to leave Clover and Kay with Tim Yuji, which I kind of don't want to do. So I'll go with Luna. See you all later! If I even get to pick. Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention, we don't have much time. Roll it out, Zero's come on. explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. <laughs> Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. Uh -huh. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the Cyan one. I like that because it puts all the characters I don't really care about together. Got it. Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together, they can open up the magenta door. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door. 
and Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. I'm going to let Alice... I figured that me and I'll get a chance to hang out with Alice later, so I'm going to let them go stay together. Because they clearly know each other. We're going with Luna, because that way Alice and Clover can stay together. I don't care that it's the first choice on the list. Sure. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. Hooray! I don't have any objections. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Hmm, well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Let's all go. Nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors. Closing. Wait. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something about a globe. Let's get wasted. Secret? No, I help. Don't need that right now. I'm not going to read all that. What says? Bird 03 says before he leaves, trick, trap, traitor. Well, we know what that is. Is the map? What? We. Notes. Story map. Eh. Oh, basically seems about the same. But there are key points here. No. Oh, let's see. Map. Hey. Log. No, oh, whatever. Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. O-O-N-R-1? Colors! Mm. Beats me. It's for the game. It looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. 
Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. Oh, wait a minute. How are we supposed to get... Wait, no. We were red, Luna's blue. How are we supposed to open that door ever? I didn't we come see any later. other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. Thinking time. Yeah, we came in through... Wait, they're both? I got, okay, so there's something else about the layout. It's letting pe some people can just pass through certain rooms freely. Alright, so our key will let us go through that door regardless. And door. Bolted. Thing. Red. Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, black, oceans, yellow, earth, sun. Oh! Astronomy magazine. Those are going to go on that like it's a clock. Empty glass. Empty glass. Empty glass. The bottles on here relate to the... Oh. Okay. Can I put that back? I don't know if I want that yet. Okay, so something about the time... Okay. Eh, memo. Bartender's drink. Three customers came in today, a couple on their son. No, 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 no. Mother on the left, and son on the right. My left is the color red, and I like white. My son has always liked the ocean. My son loves the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes the island. I like the moon. I like the moon. My father liked the green. One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks in the end. Alright, we'll get to that. Uh, lunar eclipses, 4.50 p.m. Well, give me the things. Uh -huh. Yes. Move the hand to a specific time and press the check button. Green. 
So, I'm gonna actually have to go make the goddamn drinks. Right. One of them was a liar. So, Father says red, white, ocean. Let's see who says how many two things. So, Father has. Well, they all say three things. Oh wait, maybe green sun is the indication that that's one of the drinks that was made. My father likes anything green. Okay, so if the sun is telling the truth, so green sun, moon, moon. Green sun for dad. Uh, and moons for the two of them. My son is love the color blue. Well, the son is saying he likes the moon, but he's the one who we can fit with. So the father is the liar. Because otherwise the sun would be getting ocean. So the father gets a green sun and we can ignore the father. All right, read the mother and the son. And Bell, so let's see. So, the father sat in the center. Mother is on the left. The mother likes moon from the sun, and the mother likes porn. Wait, what? No. One of them was a liar. My son has always loved the color blue since he was a child. My husband likes island, and I like blue. So the mother and the son can't be combined. There's a conflict there. Father says, my wife likes the color, I like the color, my son likes the ocean. So the father and the son can go together. The mother... Mother My father likes his color red and I like white. My son is always like the ocean. Okay, so the father is the liar. Okay. Wait, wait. Mother and the son have a conflict. They disagree about it. So the mother and the son can't be in. So the father has to be true. The father and the mother. Uh, let's see, wife color, wife planet, uh, father color, father and mother. Planet, uh, sun color, sun planet. So father and mother can go together. Uh, father and son. And it's wife color, father color, sun planet. Mother and I both like the moon. So the father doesn't agree with the son. So the father clashes with the son, and the mother clashes with the son. So the father and the mother only two to make anything together. So green sun must come later. Because the sun can't jive with either. So we'll go by the father and the mother. So uh, mother is on the left. She wants a red plant.
Yeah, maybe. Let me pick up the other bottles. to say about red, huh? Yeah. Alright, so... Button, 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 button. Alright, so Fallen Mother. Uh, Mother wanted a planet that's red. So red planet, uh, Father's Center, and he wants a white island. Red planet, white island, and blue ocean. One of them is a liar. The father and the mother are the only ones, that, the only pair that makes any sense because the son has information that clashes with. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Of course, no. The son is telling the truth, so the father would be the liar. 
Well, no. But I don't know if the rest make anything about a complete instrument. Okay, wait. The sun is telling the truth because he likes anything green, so he has a green sun. So, with knowing that, the group, that somebody made a green sun drink, we have enough information. I love the color blue ever since I was a child. Alright, well if we have a green sun that was made, the sun is telling the truth. So that would make the father the liar. No, that makes them both liars. One of them is a lot. Well, right, so the idea is that one of them has one of the situations has to involve making a green sun. The only way for that to be true is for the son of the family to be telling the truth. But if the that's the no, but if the father likes something green, the husband likes island. Well, I like white. So the father is the liar. Fine. So the mother and the son are telling the truth because the mother and the son. But the mother and the son have other conflicts. Because they're both saying he likes moon. But mother is saying she likes planet. So the mother and the son can't both be the truth teller. Is it something about the difference between like and love? No. father is the liar, that allows him to be drinking the green sun, but then um, everything else doesn't work, because then what is the mother drinking? My mother and I like moon. My father likes him. So, the father and the son can't, again, it's just a matter of even knowing one of them is a liar, even knowing that there's a green sun, the only way for that to work and for there not to be a conflict between the two of them is for it to be the father and the mother. Because the son always has something that he conflicts with in both. So out of, so father and mother could work. Father and Southern can, so that one of them has to be the liar. The mother and the son can't work, so one of them has to be the liar. So the son has to be the liar. 
and if the son is a liar, then the drinks I made are the ones that belong to everybody. Because the mother likes the planet in red, and she sits on the... Oh, good. I'm gonna be pissed off if this is what I... If this is the mistake I made, I'm going to hate myself. Hate myself. The names of the drinks sounded fine. They all made sense. But it was a matter of who's right. So the father liked the White Island. So he was in the center. So he's talking about on his left. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what does the green sun have to do? What are, well, let's see what we've won. Oh, so that wasn't even the necessary one anyway. Star, star, moon. pieces of a globe, right? One, two, three, and a second place. Where is piece number four? Why did I completely forget that there was a whole bunch of stuff written on the wall? assembly at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to combine the hemispheres first. Northern hemi, 
northern, northern, okay. Goes where? <laughs> oh, so okay, so if it's an eclipse, then that's the order everything goes. this based on the alignment of the room. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Well, this was fun.
Oh, hey, I'm at. Just a moment. Sorry about that. Dinner. You have to escape before you can take advantage of this free roll. Okay. Yoink! Buttons, 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 buttons. Thank you for time, at least. Hey, someone's coming. Well, nobody's saying. Luna is the only one who said any actual voice lines, so. Hooray! Hooray! Clark and Ten Miyoji. We ran into them a little bit ago. Well. Not literally, of course. Of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. hi -oh. Let me see the map. <laughs> Alright, so we all get to meet up back here. Quarters. Now they're basing it off a ship again. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. 
Well, there's no way for us to do any combinations except to pair up with our same colors anyway, so... Alice time! Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh, no, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Oh, poop. Oh, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? No, let's go get our points. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like, supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Same thing. So we can all go to any room now that's been opened. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Ooh, spicy. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. We can deal with this later. Get it. So, this is the lounge. Uh -huh. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out! It's some of your favorite scotch! Oh, ho. Grandpa! Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. And you can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But, are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. What? Uh... Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Shut up. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. 
or what? So I watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise, well, you really need me to spell it out. If you're just gonna kill us for sassing you, what's the point of this game? I forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. <laughs> do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Yay? Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? Well, left or right. I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. Shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think? Uh, you arrogant little bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AV room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. Sure. I think it'll probably be easier to understand. Why did we pull the cards in the first place? Why didn't we all just go back to the same one we started in? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh. What? Fuck if I know. Cursing. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. What? What the hell are you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then she's. Murdered? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Robo boy. Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Well, that's the room that you came out of in the first place. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. 
Well, you're nonchalant about this. Well, that's his wife. Or something. She didn't suffer much when she died. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. What the heck is that on the wall? You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... Oh? What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. Oh. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. What? Oh, uh, yes, I remember. You do? Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice Clover and I examined this entire room. <laughs> yes, I think I should be able to manage that. Three to four hours ago. Stabbed. Continuous. Wound angles one sharp, one blunt. sort. A knife, probably. Uh -huh. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, the one farthest to the left. Yeah. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. Mm -hmm. You and Clover. Mm -hmm. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... Unless there was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. <laughs> you fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero! Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? As a double bluff, but okay. Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. Actually, the real Zero did whatever they did and then dumped her in there. 
The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. But who would have gone off alone and had time to do that? If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all of the electronic doors in this rude warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Huh? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said, Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. Eh. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Okay. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the AB rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Up here. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. <sighs> Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. This thing. Remember it? Try opening it. Hmm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. Yeah. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. <laughs> Look, there's something on the screen. Start. Enter your vote. The door will lock automatically. What am I voting on? Astute observation. Are Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms 
are completely soundproof, but B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O., I need you to shut up. There isn't much time. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff before the game will end before I'm done. So, no more questions from now on. Answers for anybody, okay? You just have to wait. You're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a e mono or mono a e womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. Get on with it. Now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Mooney and went through the magenta door, didn't they? Uh -huh. That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Mooney. And it goes the other way, too. Mooney's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Okay. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. Okay, so we're having fun with names. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be enemy only. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? Uh -huh. All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. Is this literally going to just be the prisoner's dilemma? The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You get two BP, and so will they. And you all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. <sighs> Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP, and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's get on the stool with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose Betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses Ally. This time, you're the one who gets 3 BP, and they're the one who loses 2. We call that the serves them right outcome. Huh? I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing Ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose Betray, and so does your opponent. Well, let's think. We all start with three. And based on the number of doors I know, so far, the only... Well, think. If you're trying to speed things up and get through two sets of doors to get out, but we want everyone to get out at the same time, so the best thing to do is for everyone to just keep allying with each other, and then after three rounds of Ambidex, we'll all get out. If that happens, neither of you guys are losing anything. That's the worst thing. Absolutely zero change in the Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? 
Let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then, I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! <laughs> no, I won't wait and I can't wait. Can you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. No. We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. Ow. So... 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. No, go to hell. Just press the damn button! Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Out with it. Three, two. When your BP hits zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. <laughs> Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. I mean, I figured it would die when you hit zero, but why would it die? Why would you die when you hit one? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. What was that, Sigma? Don't play dumb. You chose ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. How do you know that? No, you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. How do you know that? It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? Yes. I wouldn't put it in those words, but I have to agree. Yo, what's up? Cram it. Siggy! I know! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. This time? <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock! Ambidex game! Round one! The results! 
If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Yay! Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Alice can eat shit. And, well, Temiuji is obviously angry. Oh, wait, no, he chose ally. Clover, what the fuck? Maybe K made you do it or something, I don't know. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Oh no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. You'd think. Thank you. I believed in you and Fi. Quark. What happened? Yeah. No, no! It wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! He told me he'd pick Ally! He... he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit! What? what I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. You wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, cause... I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray him. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. Yeah, I definitely buy that. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old bark here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, That'll make it easier to use him again later. But we know who's gonna pair up with who on the next round anyway. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? Alright, let's do it! Yeah, you're lying! I never should have trusted you! Dio! You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid, keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Meanwhile... That's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. They seem to be taking it way too well. The past uh, is the past. There's no point complaining about it. Well, that's mature of you. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AV game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right, there will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close them. 
The Abidex gates have closed. Super. Round two of the Abidex game will be the moon round. What? Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Um. I guess that was a okay. Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? Good question. I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping the party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So let's all just hang out until we all have nine. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Or everybody gets them. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Uh, but they're going to keep killing people that some of us know. And it's like, oh, I want to get out of here before. Right. Of course. You could also get stuck just below nine BP. Where everybody just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, and losing points. But there's a system where everyone can just keep gaining them. There's no money with 9 BP. The door can't open. I mean, the system nets a gain no matter what. There has to be an, an eventual end. Unless everyone just keeps betraying nonstop. You'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> I wonder if that's an important number. Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to them. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah? So? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine people. All nine sounds good. I'd like all nine, please. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing missing. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors. Maybe it's not 100% true. <laughs> well, there's a little We go blue. No, yes. They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door in the scene. The second is you die. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Theo. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well. I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You. Die. Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Of course. Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. When someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, 
the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. Ha <laughs> ha Oops. I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. <laughs> there. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten mildi or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. But it ain't gonna be Alice, because she's probably gonna end up with us, and we're not gonna do that to her. Like, frankly, I'd be perfectly fine even just letting her betray us, because we would lose... Basically, we'd be letting her come back from the brink of death, and we're still up one. What? Why am I going to die? Because you have one. Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is! Uh-huh. Correct, Siggy. Full marks. I mean, look. She has Santa's hair. I played the first one. I remember the first one. So, whatever. We'll see. I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Wait a minute. How would Dio know that they're gonna die? Since no one else explained this yet. So how would Dio be putting those words in the kid's mouth? So, someone... something there is wrong. not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Yeah. I guess so. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone can get out. Uh huh. Well, if you if it's if it's your heart stops, you can put yourself into a temporary coma and get the bracelet off. Oh. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. Uh -huh. You already saw them, right? Uh -huh. There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. Hang on. Yeah, because we would still be allowed to go through our own door. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. Oh, is she going to change her colors? But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it did. Me too. Mine cyan now. Mine too! Wait, I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. 
it switched from pair to solo. Huh? You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Huh. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Well, I'm blue. <laughs> Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. Oh. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. I don't buy that. No rules or anything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. Liar. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? No! I'll never see you guys again! Did you really think I was gonna cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! <laughs> Oh, we have a screenshot at least. <laughs> you mad? Ooh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Oh, you have a lot more to Maybe explain. Maybe I'll see you again someday. I hope so. Have a nice tragedy. Hmm. Piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. Um, so what happens now? Let's refigure out who's with who and what we can do. We still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? Run that back, DJ. Uh, December, California.
Oh, hey, it's my face. Which is nice to see. console Why do you have a gas mask on? You're not even in the car. You can just wear any mask. Is this a branch point? No. Well, I guess it makes sense that I get get this branch. Interesting. Let's see. Which one goes the longest? You. You seem to go on for a while. How they all do. Okay, so more than likely. None of these are the real branch, and it'll show up later. Oh, well, let's think. I've been going for almost three hours. And dinner should be shortly arriving. I imagine. So, I think I'm gonna actually call it here. I think that's a good start. I don't wanna go too long. Is anyone you still watching? Yes, I have one person still watching. All right, well, I think that should settle everything for now. So... Oh. Okay. Uh, next time, we'll explore a bunch of rooms and then probably do some more stuff. So that's it. Thank you for joining me temporarily, briefly. And close that out. And I resent you for not giving me my IQ back. And you can go to hell. Uh, but anyway, that's enough. So, goodbye.